Hi guys, um, I'm gonna start a new video on YouTube, um, this is a video, so I'm gonna have many different videos of trapping and just things out in the wild, you know, out in the woods and mostly trapping though, because I'm really into trapping, so I'm gonna do a lot of stuff, mostly about trapping, as you can see, right around here we got, we got a field to my left right here, and right over here we got a nice looking creek. So we're going for coon, rabbits, mink, and muskrat, hopefully. Um, whatever gets in our trap. So I'm going to show you how to set two traps today. The foothold trap and the 110 counter bear. That's all I have. I need to get more once I get a little bit more money. But I don't have any right now. So, so I'm just going to show you a couple holes real quick of near where I'm going to be setting them. And what I use for bait is peanut butter crackers, dog food, and rabbit food. The coons especially will love the dog food and the peanut butter. Um, what else I can use is marshmallows. Coons love marshmallows. Anything white, coons love eggs. So, that's what I would use for baiting. Um, here's one hole right here. That, either is a rabbit hole, some sort of coon hole. It's about, you know, it's actually quite big. And, goes down there quite a little ways, so and then that coon hole, whatever hole it is, goes right on you can't see a trail but there was in the snow. It goes right on out to that field. So I'm gonna set one ten counter bear my special way. I'm sure most of you guys do it too this way, but I'm gonna set one right there. And I'm gonna set a foothold trap. Right see that trail right there? Going right through there. Alright. So let's walk down this way. Show you two more holes. See a little peanut butter cracker. And a hole right there. I don't think that's a very popular hole. I haven't seen much going on lately in that. But yeah, there's probably still something in there. That hole is I think it's pretty popular. Looks like it's pretty fresh. Or not fresh, but it's been used pretty lately, so hoping we'll get something in these two traps so I'll be right back and show you how to set All up right, the guys, I'm back we're gonna set the 110 kind of bear right now um it's a little chilly out my hands are a little cold so I'm gonna use just a quick grip uh clamp to set them it's a little hard to do still but I think it's easier than setting them with your hands setting them with your hands not too hard I could probably do it but I don't like it either but so this is the 110 counter bears. Some of you don't know what this is. Um, once you set it, these will fold in. Alright, so it'll be set like that. Pretend my two fingers are the trap, the top of the trap. Once it gets, once something catches the trigger, it'll go down like that. So it'll catch, and that's not a good example, but once you're, um, done I'll show you here in a second but this is the trigger mechanism right there you want to make sure those are spread out enough that if it tries to sneak by it's not going to all right so set this just put it in the clamp just like so Hold on. Like I said, it is a little difficult. A little pain in the butt. These are old. I bought them from a friend. And I'm going to end up getting more. Hopefully. So now, I'm just going to start clamping them in. As far as I can go. Can't go too far and then the clamp gets hard to clamp in. So now... Let's have it far enough as you can see they're starting to spread a little bit more. So that's what we want, obviously. Clip them a little bit more. Alright, should be plenty enough. I was afraid they're gonna come loose. There. See how much that's so much easier to do. Get that out of there. So much easier to do with a clamp than your hands. See how that is now? Now once an animal catches 
that trigger magazine me mechanism it'll clamp together like that I'm not gonna do it it's my hands right there so we're gonna set this trap by having that right in the middle like so not that spread apart got them about that spread apart right there and we're gonna set that on the first one You got your set 110 counter bear. Now you set that right in the trail, the animals come along, they hit that, and it makes it go in that loose. Before we get started on setting this, I'm just going to let you know what's all in my uh, carrying bucket that I always bring out. I obviously have the traps. I have a knee pad to set my knee down on when I'm working on the ground, it's really muddy. Um, I have a clamp. Um, I have bait, string some tape to mark my trap so I know where they're all at uh, and a couple stakes and a hammer that's all I bring out with me um, so I don't have to run back home and get it all so I just keep the hammer or the bucket with me with everything in it so I'm gonna stop you here and we're gonna take you down to the hole that I just found and guys uh, I just noticed this while I was just checking something out this really big hole right here right next to the water that's Perfect. I'm gonna set probably the one time counter bear right there. Um, I think it's probably either a muskrat or a coon Going down and it goes right on down to there right into the water So that's gonna be a perfect spot for setting the one time counter bear um, When I get like a bigger trap such as a 160 um, That'd be more preferred to go right there instead of a 110 But a 110 is all I have and it'll get the job done. So I'm going to set one right there, and hopefully we'll get something in that. If not, in a couple days, we'll move it back up where I wanted. So, All right, back guys, got the, the camera set. Let me come around. All right, got my knee pad. So. You see there, kind of got that hole right there. I have to kind of maneuver around here. There's trees, all these dead fall trees right here. So first what we're gonna do is we got the stake. What I recommend doing, if you have a regular stake, is putting wire around the stake like so. I don't know if you can see it. Just so it can't escape. We're gonna hammer that in. Right next to the hole there. Oh yeah. Definitely some tracks where he's been sliding right down. I'm thinking it's either muskrat or I don't think it's a coon, so we're gonna get him. The soil's nice and white too, so hold on a second actually. Casey's over really there, dog. Casey, get home! Sorry about this, I'm running around here. Casey, get home! Water locked her in the ground. Get home! Go home! Go! Good girl. She's a good girl. It's just the one around here while I'm setting traps. Alright, that's not in far enough, but I'm gonna need to set the trap. Before I set this, I need to do something with my. No, no, why? Casey's not really listening. All right. Put that right around there. Man, this is hard to reach because all these trees in the way. Not very comfortable. Alright, there. Bend those down. I'm thinking we're going to set that. Think about Kind of put one 
Well, you don't want it in the mud too far, though. This, I'm sorry this is taking so long and trying to figure stuff out here. <sighs> Gotta be very careful while you're setting these kind of air traps. These are really gonna, it's gonna really hurt if you get your finger caught in it. So while you're screwing around, setting all your traps, gotta be careful. Let me pound that in a little bit further now. Alright, with that set right there, I'm thinking that should work. It's right in their pathway. So, I'm look down. Oh, yeah, they go right on down into there. There's their hole, they come right on down. Oh. Wouldn't doubt we'll have something in that a couple days, because I don't remember that there a couple days ago, last time I was down here. So, let's hope it's fresh, and let's hope it's a highly populated area. And when we come back, we should have something. I'm going to get out of here. Guys, up next is I'm going to be setting the, um, the foothold trap. And there she is. All right, guys, I got a handful of rabbit food that I'm going to put down there real quick. Right in front of the kind of bear. It'll get them out of that hole really, really quick. Let me zoom out. Just kind of sprinkle that right around in there. Even up. Shoot. Oh, that wasn't very good. You can see I'm standing on these trees right here. But, almost fell through. Alright, let's get up and get started on that foothold trap. 